what's going on radar force today uh we have finally got the last two uh, blu-ray steelbook season sets uh in four by three ratio they finally came out today uh i'm doing a video of all nine of them uh these are the two that came out today seasons eight and nine right here we have seasons one through nine and uh i'm gonna stack them up on the table behind us and we're gonna go and uh get a better view of each of them all right uh here is seasons one through nine on the side spine uh we're gonna go through i'm gonna show you what each of them look like uh as a full spine thing uh here is the top views if you have the uh you still have it sealed or you still kept the paperback uh backing which i'm keeping mine sealed because i have no purpose to watch these since they are the same as the uh four by three thirtieth anniversary blu-ray collector's edition sets no reason for me to open these since I would rather watch those. Uh, but yeah, I'm keeping these sealed and uh, so the paperback would all be there. Uh, so we're going to hop right in this going with seasons one through freaking nine. Alright, season freaking one. And these just do not stand up by themselves. Mainly probably because I have shrink wrap. All right, season one, uh, pretty awesome uh, artwork, I must say so myself. Uh, as you guys have seen earlier, the spine episodes, uh, episode one to 39, uh, the back, like I said, if you take this off, there will be another artwork image, but I'm keeping this on there. I hate when they do this because it's like, if you open this, you, more than likely you'll lose this insert. So I'm keeping mine sealed so I don't have to worry about that. And like I said earlier, these are four by three 1080p Blu-ray. Uh, just the same as the 30th anniversary. It has the same special uh, features as the 30th anniversary, like uh, interviews with Funimation cast. Uh, but that's season one. Season two, uh, decent artwork as well. Uh, this is episode 40 through 74. Uh, the back, uh, like I said, same as the other one, 4 by 3 1080p Blu-ray. Uh, nothing much. Uh, just cool to go through and look at the artwork for people that haven't got into it. Season 3. Um, love the artwork as well. I love all the new artworks for Dragon Ball. Uh, spine again. This is episodes uh, 75 to 107 in the back here. Pretty good stuff. And season 4. I love uh, Future Trunks. Uh, they could have probably done a little bit better on this to be honest. This is episode 108 to 139 in the back. And like I said, if you tore this off, you'd probably have pretty cool artwork behind it too. Unfortunately, I won't be able to see that because I'm keeping mine sealed. But still, or at least I'll have this insert uh, backing. Uh, season 5, I honestly could care less for this artwork. It looks pretty slack in my opinion. Uh, episodes uh, 140 to 165 in season 5 in the back. Next, the bat looks pretty good. But yes, I'm, I'm recording this on the day of Season 8 and 9 got released. So hopefully I'll be the first person to have this on YouTube. Uh, season 6, episodes 166 to 194. And the spine art in the back. This one I feel like they did better with the artwork, in my opinion. Alright, Season 7, getting into the good stuff here. This one I love, this artwork. I don't know if it's just the Piccolo's cape. I don't know about you guys, but for some reason Piccolo's cape, if they make it look right, I just can't, I, I love the artwork, man. The, the, I don't know, the shadows and everything. But season 7, 195 to 219. And in the back here. Alright, now to the uh, brand new releases. Season 8. Uh, this one, I feel like they could have done better with, but I am a fan of uh, Vegeta uh, Super Saiyan 2. I believe he's in Super Saiyan 2 in this. I'm surprised they didn't go with Majin Vegeta. That's actually a little uh, upsetting, but whatever. Uh, episodes 220 to 253. And a uh, nice little back art here. And season 9, uh, I do like the Vegito uh, artwork, but I just don't care for the pink background. Uh, episodes 254 to 291. Spine and the back. Everybody loves Vegeta, though, you know, so can't go wrong with that. 
All right, and that's it for seasons one through nine of the 4x3 Blu-ray Steelbooks uh, by Funimation. Same thing as the 30th Anniversary Collector's Edition. I must say that every time because uh, I honest, to, I'm going to be straight up honest with you guys. Um, I'm a little upset that Funimation uh, decided to release these, especially considering they made the 30th Anniversary to be an exclusive set. Now, give it that this is a whole different release, but it's the same uh, material. So all they're doing is just they put a new skin coat on the boxes, basically. The discs are different. Everything's different except it's the same footage they uh, remastered for the 30th. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, uh, I, I really hope this is the last release for Dragon Ball Z. Uh, I don't want another one for a long time. There's already like 600 releases for Dragon Ball Z. They need to get uh, Blu-ray Dragon Ball and Blu-ray GT, and uh, I'd be happy. Uh, but yeah, that's it for Seasons 1-9 through nine Steelbooks in the Blu-ray format. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, please subscribe, like, and leave a comment below. Check out all our social medias. Uh, we stream once a week on Twitch, Facebook, and YouTube Live. So, uh, yeah, you guys, I'm dying. Uh, you guys, uh, take care, and I'll see you guys on the next Dragon Ball Collection video. Take care, guys, and you guys are the best. Goodbye and farewell, friends.